to cook pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin is one of the best cuts of meat that you can buy. It's tender and lean, so if you want to up your protein intake, it's definitely a good choice. This recipe teaches you how to cook pork tenderloin with apples. The ingredients listed are enough to serve four people. If you're only cooking for two, then cut everything in half. Preparation takes only 10 minutes, while cooking time is another 20. With the 30 minutes required to cook this dish, it's perfect for a no-fuss but yummy dinner after a long work day, when you feel like eating something comforting, homemade, and much better than takeout. Here are the steps. 1. To make pork tenderloin with apples, you will need the following ingredients. 2 pork tenderloins, a cup of broth, chicken or beef broth would work just fine, 1 cup of white wine or apple brandy or apple cider, 2 tablespoons of canola oil, 2 teaspoons of ground cumin, some salt and pepper to taste, and 2 medium apples that have been sliced and cored. You need to use cooking apples like Fuji or Jonah Gold. Eating apples like Red Delicious would not work well with this dish. 2. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the pork tenderloin and slit it all over using a sharp knife. Make the slits deep enough to fit some slivers of garlic in. Rub the pork with some cumin, salt, and pepper. 3. Heat some oil in a skillet. With the fire on medium-high, sear the tenderloin on all sides to sear in the juices. Take 5 minutes for each side and use a tong to flip the meat so that you minimize the running of juices. 4. Take the pork tenderloin out of the skillet and transfer it into a roasting pan. Set the skillet and the drippings aside because you will use them later. 5. Pour the white wine and the broth into the roasting pan and put it in the oven. Let the pork tenderloin cook in the broth and wine for 10 minutes at 400 degrees. 6. While the pork is roasting, take the skillet you had used for searing and cook the apple slices in the juices from the meat. Saute the apples until they have turned soft. Take out the apples and set them aside. Again, save the juices in the skillet. 7. After 10 minutes of roasting in the oven, take the pork tenderloins out. Transfer them to a cutting board and loosely cover them with a sheet of aluminum foil for another 10 minutes. 8. While the meat is resting, take the drippings from the roasting pan and add them to the searing skillet which you also used for cooking the apples. 9. Let the drippings and the juices boil for 5 minutes, turning the stove on to high. Let it reduce until you get something that has the consistency of thin gravy. 10. After letting the pork rest for 10 minutes, take off the foil and slice it into pieces that are 14 inches thick. Plate the pork tenderloin slices with some apples on the side and drizzle with some gravy. Serve while warm. This recipe teaches you how to cook pork tenderloin for four. You can actually stretch it to serve six people if you slice the pork a little more thinly. Use a sharp serrated knife to make neat and even slices. The serrated edge will not drag on the meat, so you won't have jagged edges. To make a complete meal, serve with some soup, salad, and a yummy dessert which will provide a good contrast to the meat.